Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Transformation Secrets. Uh, hopefully you could hear me okay. I'm trying a new mic, so if you're watching this and you cannot hear a thing, uh, please let me know so I don't talk uh, to myself for the next 10 minutes. All right, so last Sunday, what I did is I asked anyone who's following me, I pretty much just asked, like, what questions do you have? How can I help you out for free? I'm creating content for the week. And so here's the first one. If you follow me on my podcast at transformationsecretspodcast.com, uh, you heard this message yesterday on that, but I know some of you are audio listeners. Some of you are visual. So I always like to do both, right? And so the first question I got was, Luke, I eat healthy. I work out five days a week and I'm not losing weight. How can I eat? to lose weight. And this is an extremely common question. I don't know if you've ever felt like this, but I definitely have where you work out as hard as you can. You do everything you think you need to do, but yet you look the same month after month, year after year. So you may know about, may know this about me, you may not, but when I very first began my fitness journey, uh, was age 20 is kind of when I said, all right, it is time to get serious, right? I'm age 20, I'm gonna get ripped abs, all the girls are gonna fall in love with me. Um, pretty much what every 20 year old guy wants us to do. So what I did is I set my agenda for my workout plan and I worked out five to six days a week. And I did this every single week. Like I did not miss a workout for five years. I remember I even got my all four wisdom teeth out and I was in the gym the next day, right? It probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but it's what I did anyways because I was extremely motivated. I was disciplined. I was eager to get results. And I, again, for five years, I did not miss a day. And on top of that, I ate as healthy as I thought I should, right? So that's the first thing. A lot of times we say we're eating healthy, but it's kind of we don't know what we don't know. And so I ate as healthy as I could for five years. I worked out five to six times, six to five to six times a week, every single week for five years. And at the end of those five years, I took a progress picture. You may have seen it. And I looked the exact same. I cannot tell you how frustrated I was, how angry I was, but most importantly, how confused I was. Like, how, what am I supposed to do? And so all these things start popping in your head and you may have thought this yourself, like maybe it's just my genetics. You know what? I tried for five years, the weight's not falling off, I'm not getting any more tone, it's my genetics. And I truly believe that too. I used to tell myself I have really broad shoulders, there's no way I could get abs. I even somehow got into my mind, I was like, I play football, and because I play football, I'm not allowed to get abs either. I don't know where that came from, but we make up things in our mind, and that kind of sets us in our own place. And so, uh, I had one or two choices. One use those excuses, blame it on genetics, blame it on whatever thing that I feel like believing in because I gave it a good effort. I gave it five years or try something different. And luckily, I'm sure you know the answer because I'm helping you out now is I tried something different. So at this time in my life, I found a mentor. And because I was a broke 25 year old college dropout at this time, the only mentors I could afford were $15 books. And so I bought a book and I read it and get this, not only did I read it, but I applied it. <laughs> and what I applied, I lost in the next three months, I lost 10% body fat and I got the abs for the first time in my life at age 25. And it only took three months. So a lot of people see my three month transformation back then, like, they thought it was fake, that that was Photoshop, they thought I was taking enhancements, whatever it may be. But what they don't see is the five years of struggle before. And then finally it just clicked. And then I lost all the body fat that I wanted, finally looked the way I wanted, and the rest was history. And so there's five key things that I personally did that really made my results just kind of dramatic, and that's what I'm gonna share with you today, all right? So the very first thing that I started to do was I started eating breakfast and I was intentional at eating my breakfast. So I ate breakfast within 30 minutes of waking up. And the reason I did this was to start the metabolism, to get protein into the body early on, and just to give my body the energy it needs that I'm gonna burn off later. So 
Number one is just start eating breakfast. I have some clients that that's the only thing they start with and they drop five pounds that week. Now there's nothing magical about breakfast, but just putting a healthy meal, healthy food into your body in the morning, it starts the rest of your day off right. So that was step number one as I started eating breakfast within 30 minutes of waking up. Number two is after I ate breakfast, I continue to eat every two to three hours. Again, it's to help the metabolism keep flowing throughout the entire day. So if you look at waves, this is how you want your metabolism to go throughout the whole day. But what happens when most people only eat one or two times a day, it's right here, spikes, comes down, and it's right here. So I have my breakfast, my insulin, everything spikes, and then over two to three hours, as it starts to digest, it comes down here and then I eat again. And over two to three hours, it starts to digest, and it, I eat again and that's exactly what you want your metabolism to look like all the time now you may be saying well Luke I'm not hungry when I first wake up I'm not hungry every three hours and the reason you're not hungry is because you trained your body to not be hungry I promise you 100% this happens all the time is someone who's not hungry they will start eating and they always ask me like if i'm not hungry should i force myself yes you don't have to force a huge meal just start eating almonds like have something and what happens is two to three weeks later they come back to me like look i'm i'm starving all day like all i want to do is eat and i said good and that just means your metabolism is starting to pick up so if you're not hungry when you first wake up it's because you trained yourself to not be hungry you weren't born that way right when you were a baby if you remember when you were <laughs> five, six months old, or if you have kids, they eat every two to three hours. That's not supposed to stop as you get older. We, no one just ever taught us. And so we just only ate when we felt like we were hungry. And then society does its own stuff to you, all right? So number one is eat breakfast within 30 minutes of waking up. Uh, my go-to currently uh, making this video is overnight oats. It takes me one minute to make the night before. I put in the fridge, I wake up, I eat. So good, that or a protein shake. Step number two, after you have breakfast, continue to eat every two to three hours, all right? Number three is protein. You have to get enough protein. Now, you don't need a high protein diet. Protein is only about 30% of your total calories, but most people don't get that 30%. For me and for my goals at the time and really still currently, I aim anywhere from 25 to 35 grams of protein every single time I eat. That means during my breakfast, that means during my snacks, lunch, and dinner. So 25 to 35 grams of protein every single time I eat. For females, you could start off at like 15 to 20. Guys, I do recommend like 25 to 30. And that's a great like starting number if you don't know where to start, all right? And the purpose for protein, of course, it's gonna create that lean muscle mass that you always hear about. Protein helps you stay full longer. And protein is actually the hardest macronutrient for our body to digest. So just by eating protein, you're actually gonna burn more calories because your body needs to digest it. One of the biggest myths out there, especially with females, is they think if they have too much protein, they're gonna get big and bulky. Or another one is people will say like, I can't have a protein drink when I don't work out because it'll make me gain weight. No, it won't. If you look at a protein shake, they're like 100, 200 calories. You're not gonna gain weight on a 200 calorie shake. You're gonna gain weight by going to McDonald's and eating 1,000 calories, right? So. Uh, number step number three was make sure you have protein every single time you eat. Now steps number four and five are usually the most overlooked, but probably the most important. Step number four is water. Make sure you drink at least half your body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 200 pounds, make sure you drink at least 100 ounces of water a day. Now that is minimum. And then so every time you do something that dehydrates you, you need to add more water. For example, when you work out, you should add another glass of water. When you drink coffee, you should have another glass of water. If you drink tea, you should add another glass of water because you're pulling water out of your body so you need to replenish that. So start off with your minimum if you don't know how much water you're drinking and then which is half your body weight in ounces and then just move up from there. And then step number five is sleep. Sleep is one of the most important things. We burn the most calories ever when we sleep. 
not only that, but you just need the extra rest. I can't tell you so many times, like Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, my clients and myself, our weight will stay the same. And then Saturday and Sunday, the weight goes down because we're actually sleeping in. We're actually getting seven, eight, nine hours of sleep. So I promise you, maybe, maybe you are eating perfectly. Maybe you're following the first four steps, but you're not sleeping enough. You're stressed out that cortisol is building up and you're just not getting the proper rest that your body needs to lose the weight. So all five of those things. So if you're brand new and you don't know where to start, start at step one, Eat, start eating breakfast. When you become consistent with that, go to step two. When you're consistent with one and two, go to step three. You don't need to throw all of this on your at once, just start where you are. All right, guys, so hopefully that was helpful. And if it was, go ahead and click the link above if you're in the Facebook or if you're on Instagram, it's in my bio. Help me and I'll help you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.